Good morning and welcome to Dust and Glory, a Lent journey of faith, failure and forgiveness, in which we are invited to find God in the mess of everyday life. Here we are given the opportunity to consider the idea of failure from a range of different angles. And the difference God's redeeming work in Jesus makes to the struggles and the shortcomings of human life. Today is Monday the 6th of March and our theme today is Come Back Sin, All is Forgiven. We opened today with Ave Christe Immolate by Hildegard of Bingham. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Jesus, Lamb of God, have mercy on us. Jesus, bearer of our sins, have mercy on us. Jesus, redeemer of the world, grant us peace. Lord, by your cross and passion, Free us from evil and deliver us. Destroy the powers of darkness and deliver us. Free your creation from corruption and deliver us. Bring us to the liberty of the children of God and deliver us. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. So we come now to the beginning of our second full week of reflections with the overriding theme of understanding sin. The Christian faith teaches that all human beings are sinful. And when we're thinking about what it means to fail, that is a surprisingly comforting thought. Rather than idolizing people, and waiting for them to fall off a pedestal. Christian faith encourages us to start from a low point and work up. And so, come back sin, all is forgiven. Reading from chapter three of the book of Romans. All have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. Sin is a word and concept that has found its way into popular culture. But instead of referring to the utter depravity of the human condition, it's associated with eating something you really shouldn't or telling a little fib. It's come to be a word you use in quotation marks with a wink, a fun little phrase that indicates something is naughty but nice. What happened to sin? Sin for Christians is really about separation from God. It's about those choices we make and temptations we fall victim to that are contrary to what God wants for us. Sin is really about ruptured relationship with God, with one another, and with ourselves. Between individuals and communities, in ways small and big, sin is what keeps us isolated, hopeless, and suffering. Amen. And now, as our Saviour Christ has taught us, so we pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, 
but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. And now our prayer for the week. Lord, we know that we are sinners. We rejoice that you sent your Son to die for our sins, that we might be redeemed and saved by your love. Amen. For all that God can do within us, for all that God can do without us. Thanks be to God. For all in whom God lived before us, for all in whom God lives beside us. Thanks be to God. For all the Spirit wants to bring us, and where the Spirit wants to send us. Thanks be to God. Christ has promised to be with us in the world as in our worship. Amen. Let us go and serve him. Lord, hear our prayers, and if today we might be the means by which you answer the prayers of others, then may you find us neither deaf nor defiant, but keen to fulfil your purpose, for Jesus' sake. Amen. Amen.